Back focusing your lens is one of the most important things to do when you're shooting high definition. What back focusing allows is for you to zoom in and focus on a subject, say, 20 feet away. And when you zoom out, that subject will still be in focus. Luckily, all of our video lenses come with a built-in back focus adjustment. And what I've done is I've set up a standard Siemens chart. Now, you can find this chart in your green instruction manual that came with your lens. And all of the Fujinon lenses come with this. And in the back, on the back page, you get your own Siemens star. Now, I have a bigger one set up, which can, which can be put on a stand. So we're going to use that, because bigger is better. You can also find them on the internet and print one off on your own. Just do a, a search for the word Siemens star. So first, what we're going to do is zoom in all the way into our star. Now, we can see here that it's a little overexposed. It's important that the aperture is open all the way. You want to shorten the depth of field as much as possible. So back focusing on, say, 5.6, it's not really worth doing. You have to open it up as much as you can open it up. So I've opened up to 1.4, but it's a little overexposed. So I'm just going to turn the ND filter on. And ND1 seems to solve the problem. So what I've done, I've zoomed into the Siemens star. And now I'm going to focus until it's sharp, as sharp as it can be. So once we have finished focusing on the telephoto end of the lens, we're going to zoom the lens back out and take a look. Now, as you can see, the back focus must be way out because when we were zoomed in, we were able to get focus at this focus mark. But now we've zoomed out, and it's just not working at all. So what we'll do is we'll just loosen off the back focus adjustment just a tiny bit, and we'll adjust it until that Siemens star is perfectly sharp. And you'll see that as you get to the point of perfect sharpness, the circle in the center becomes as small as possible. I'll just tighten it down a tiny bit. Now we have to repeat. Let's zoom all the way back in. Now we'll see that on the telephoto ends, it's not quite right anymore. So we'll readjust, get it perfect. It was very close, just not perfect. And we'll zoom back out and double check again. I would say that now our back focus is set. It's important to tighten down the back focus adjustment. Now, you should really back focus every time you change environments. If the temperature changes, if you're inside, then going outside and it's colder or warmer outside, what happens is that the metal used in the mount will expand or contract. And then the flange focal distance changes. It might just be microns, but still, it moves a tiny bit. So that's why it's so important to back focus when you change environments, as well as after you've been traveling with the camera. Always, always check that. Now, there's one thing I want to show you. DSC Labs has come up with a new back focus chart called Fiddleheads. And these Fiddleheads are very, very cool, and uh, I think actually work better than the Siemens Star. So let's just replace our Siemens Star and give the Fiddlehead a try. Okay. So we have our fiddle heads mounted now. We're going to see if they work any better. I've just thrown the back focus out of whack here. I'm going to zoom in. Just bring that into focus. Zoom back out. And then adjust the back focus. And look at that. They just really pop. At the very moment that they are in focus. They just seem to pop right into focus. So we focus the back focus. We're going to zoom back in, refocus here, zoom back out, double check. It looks good. When you're in the field, you really should have a high-def monitor for doing back focus. There really is no substitute. However, when using these fiddleheads, the LCD monitor isn't actually that bad. I'm just going to try it here. 
And as I adjust the back focus, I can actually see on the LCD monitor when the fiddleheads actually come into focus. Video zoom lenses don't have witness marks for their focus distances, but they still do have markings, which are fairly accurate. So I'm just going to check with my measuring tape and see how far away the chart is from the focal plane. It looks like we're just over four and a half feet. Now, when I check here, the focus seems to be between four and five feet. So I know that at least we're close. And if I had to, in a pinch, judge focus based on distance instead of actually being able to zoom in, get my focus and zoom back out, at least I know that this could be trustworthy.